All right, today's the day. We're gonna be lifting up the trusses and they thankfully all arrived just on time. Um, telehandler should be here in about half an hour and you know that should hopefully make pretty light work of the job. So um, I've got everything marked out and I'll pretty much just walk you through what the trusses are. So starting with these four, they're the floor trusses. They're gonna span the full 28 feet where the dormers are in the middle because there won't be any trusses there. These guys are gonna be for the landing at the end of the staircase coming up. And they'll go from the end wall across to the first girder truss. Uh, these are the end walls that I built already. So I did that the other day. They're all done, ready to go. Um, underneath are the main trusses. So I think there's about 12 of those. And yeah, they'll, we might put those up first because they're only 350 pounds each, not 850 pounds like these big boys, which are the girder trusses. They're gonna have the dormers, or it would be the side walls of the dormers built in, and then we'll build the dormer out on top of that. And the bottom one, or the bottom two plies, are the girder truss for the staircase. And then, because they're so big, so these are 13 feet, eight inches tall, they couldn't fit on a trailer. So here are the peaks for the main trusses, and then these are for the dormer. And that's it, so yeah, let's start loading them up. All right, well, that ended up being quite a day. Um, apologies for whatever the time lapse is gonna look like. I forgot the GoPro, the camera died, then it got too dark. Is what it is, uh, we had to push on and get this done. So what you'll see here is all the main trusses up, the girder trusses as well, um, and the bottom part of the end walls. Everything went more or less pretty good. Nobody got injured. All the trusses made it up that we needed. So that's a win realistically. Um, we still need to run across and do the peaks, um, add the trusses to the top of these dormers. And that all can wait realistically because what we need to do is brace this up so that um, everything is secure. We don't really wanna go much higher than this. We're already 14 feet from where I'm standing to the top of what's here. It's gonna be 18 feet once it's done. So um, yeah, let's brace everything up. Um, the guy that built the trusses marked out everywhere on these where they need to have bracing. So I'm gonna start working on that and making sure everything is plumb, of course. Um, and yeah, let's, um, let's start there. Okay, so current challenge is getting this end wall that I already built for the peak at the top up there. So I don't want to disassemble and rebuild it because that seems like a pain in the butt. So I rigged up this little guy. You can see poking out on top there, basically a pulley. And I'm going to try and lift it up in place. All right, see how it goes. And the trusses are up. Um, that ended up being quite a task. A lot more time went into that than I anticipated. Um, basically just anything when I had to get up high, go off a second ladder, put on the harness, click it on, click it off, come back down to get what I needed. Um, that really just kind of tripled or quadrupled my estimates for how long this was gonna take. 
but it's done now all the same uh, as far as at least end walls and trusses go. And there's going to be a bit of work to do here, building out the middle around these dormers and then um, just some bracing here across the stairs so it's ready for uh, the sheathing. So I'll make another video when I'm building that out. But as far as hanging the trusses, that is done and bracing them and all the rest of it that had to happen. So these diagonal braces and blocks here, that's a code requirement. Um, and then all the other bracing that's up there, uh, which is two by four, that is per the plans. So um, yeah, good to have that all done because it was a bit time consuming. Um, as far as cost goes, uh, the trusses were $13,500 and then the end walls another 500 bucks so the best part of fourteen thousand dollars is what you're seeing from the top plate up it'll probably be about another thousand dollars to build out this end wall uh, sorry this um middle section uh where the dormers are and then yeah between the end wall and the first set of trusses we'll also need to get joined up so i can put the sheathing on um but yeah about fifteen thousand dollars i'm expecting all in for the roof framing um, and then it'll be ready for sheathing. There's some more sheathing work up to the trusses that need to happen before I can do that and trimming some things back. Obviously the eaves are too long. So there's just some little things that need to happen, um, but it's definitely good to have the trusses hung. Um, so yeah, check back for that video when I start getting um, things going in the middle as well as sheathing. And um, yeah, as you can tell, it's starting to get pretty cold, um, a bit rugged up here. so. Uh, there's definitely some motivation to get this done and uh, get this place dried in before winter hits. So uh, check back for that one and I'll catch you then.